Hello, welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the main today, lamb, black lime, rose water, yellow peas, with some French fries around the edge, tomatoes, loads more. It's Iranian, it's Persian, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go straight in on this one. I've got here my split peas, my yellow split peas, give them a nice little wash. Now what I like to do is I like to drop half an onion in there and a little bit of salt. Now, I like to cook my peas separately. Some people will cook them in with the meat, but these peas give off a lot of kind of frothy sort of stuff, and I just don't really like that in there, so I'm gonna cook these separately. So they'll take about, they're not long, I've soaked them a little bit, give them a wash. They're gonna only take about 12 minutes or so, and they'll be ready. Okay, so they're cooked and I just sort of rinsed them out with a little bit of water. Like I say, doing this method, instead of putting it in and cooking them in with the meat, ensures that we don't get all that frothiness and the kind of nastiness from peas. Let's move on. Okay, so here's our meat. I've got a lamb, there's no bone in there. It's cut into nice sort of sizes. That sort of size, as you can see. Now I've got about 500 grams there. Two onions sliced, cinnamon stick, two teaspoons of turmeric, two teaspoons of black lime powder. You can use whole limes if you want. I'm just gonna go with powder today. Here I've got some saffron or zaffron. Just put that into a little bit of water. Beautiful, wonderful flavor. And here's some rose water. We're gonna use a tiny amount of that. Let's get to the cooker. Okay, I've got some oil in there. I'm using the olive oil. We're gonna drop in our sliced onion. And we're gonna drop in our meat, our lamb. Like I say, there's no bone in this. It's a really nice leg cut. You can use a different cut if you want. I'm gonna drop in that cinnamon now and add some salt. And as you may be able to hear, we're on an above medium heat. I'm gonna be back in about six or seven minutes, stirring this often. This really is a delicious, delicious dish. Absolutely fabulous. At this point, I'm gonna add in my turmeric. We're gonna stir this in and we're gonna continue cooking for about another five to six minutes. Now I've seen people put garlic in this and even ginger. I think both are not necessary. Seen about five or six. Okay, this is looking fantastic. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in our saffron water. Now you can strain the saffron if you want off. I don't mind it in there at all. In fact, I quite like it in there. We're then gonna get some rose water. I'm gonna put some in. You don't want to load in there. That might be a lot for some people. For me, that's a good amount. Next up, just gonna add some water. If you want, you can be putting a lamb stock in here. But water's good for me. Now we've got our black lime here. I haven't forgotten this, we're gonna add it later. Okay, we're gonna go to a nice medium now and let that go for about 10 minutes. Okay, and that is looking really beautiful. Now time to add our cooked split peas, in they go. Gonna add a little bit more water. 
or stock if you want. We're now going to let that go with the lid on for about another eight or nine minutes. See you then. Excellent stuff, I'm loving this. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna come back on the, on the fire here with another pan. What you can do is you can get your tomato paste, which we're gonna need in here, but I like to cook it off first with some onions. So let's do that. Set that aside, back in a second. So I've got some olive oil in there. And again, I've got some sliced onions. In they go. Heat is on. Gonna fry these on a fairly high heat for about four minutes. So just as these onions are taken, we're now gonna add our tomato paste. I've just lowered the heat to a medium now. So I've got here about 250 grams of tomato paste. Now you may ask me why I'm doing this. Why didn't I just throw this in? I really like to cook the tomato paste. If you just chuck it in the pot with the peas and the lamb, I think you get a really raw, bitter taste. So I want to cook these on a medium heat for about five minutes and then we're going to add it in. It's, it makes a big difference, I find. Keep it moving, see in about five. Okay, really worth doing this, I think. Off goes the heat. I'm gonna swap them back over. Well, first of all, I just wanna point out, I've done that because I've only got a one ring gas cooker here. You could have been doing this on the side with this. Okay, I need to get all this in. Let's give this a nice stir. Get it in there. Now what we're gonna do on a medium heat, once again, I'm gonna go for about another 10 minutes. And I'll be giving it a stir every now and then. Beautiful. Okay, this is looking wonderful. That beautiful red colour. That meat is definitely cooked. Still got a little way to go. So, the black lime, or in my case, black lime powder. I'm putting it in late. I think it just works out a little bit better. We put it in with like 10 minutes to go. It's like three teaspoons there. Once again, I think if it goes in too early, it can cook out and get a bit sort of bitter. So nice low heat now, 10 minutes. We're done. There you go. Off goes the heat. I'm delighted with that. That color's really kind of boomed out. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt in there. And that is done. Apart from one thing. It's gonna make some uh, fried potatoes, like some chips, french fries. If you want, you can serve this with either french fries or some sort of fried potato shaped or fried eggplant. I'm going with the potatoes. Okay, there you go. So, got some chips, little French fries, nice long ones. Put them around there. Like I said, if you want, you could serve that with fried sliced eggplant. Takes a while, that one, doesn't it, guys? But it really is delicious. It's wonderful. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.